returned to Fight Network with the final 16 of their World Max tournament live from Mallorca, Spain. The main event saw the legendary Andy Sauer squaring off with a very tough Yashihiro Kido. Sauer came forward like a man possessed, eating everything Kido had to offer and returning it twice as hard. Sauer's combinations and aggression were major difference makers as he'd set himself apart early and never looked back. Kido was incredibly game, never backing down despite being outclassed. Kido even mounted a bit of a comeback in the final minute, pouring it on with combinations, but it was too little too late. Sauer advances to the next round of the tournament with a unanimous decision victory. The co-feature of the evening saw Ismat Azagawe taking on former Infusion competitor Elam Ngor. This was a tightly contested affair and saw each man landing with combinations. Ngor staggered his opponent in the second round with strong punches, but Azagawe stayed alert and busy with his hands. By the final round, the fight had gotten up close and personal, and Ngor would find his mark with a big body shot and sent his opponent to the mat, and that would be all she wrote. Gore punched his ticket to the next round with the impressive late KO. Dutch veteran Henry van Opstel squared off with Germany's Enrico Kale in their first round tournament matchup. This fight showcased some very creative striking from either side of the ring as both men were mixing up their attacks. Kale did an excellent job of working the body while van Opstel was counterpunching beautifully. It was a well matched bout from start to finish, but Kale was simply a step quicker and earned himself a unanimous judge's decision. In other first-round action, China's Zhu Ji Peng completely outclassed American Joey Pagliuso to earn himself a unanimous decision and a berth in the next round. Canada's Shane Campbell was on the card as well, but not for long. He put away Wallace Lopez with a nasty KO in the opening frame to advance to the semifinals in style. And that is it! Shane Campbell advances to the second round of the 2013 K1 Max World Grand Prix! Fan favorite Boakau Bonchamek garnered a lot of attention as one of the tournament favorites. He was in action taking on David Calvo. Bonchamek showed why he's considered one of the sport's best, scoring the big-time first-round knockout to advance. Lee Sung Hyun was able to outlast Charles Francois in a gritty battle to earn a decision, as was Maximo Suarez, who outpointed Miodrag Olar en route to a decision victory of his own. They'll both find themselves in the next round of the World Max Tournament.